So we all have those moments in life where we're like, wow, that just happened. Like this one time when my brother fell off a four meter high fort. Or this other time when my brother fell into a lit fire. Or this other time when my brother fell in a bush full of wasps. Yeah, my brother likes to fall. A lot. But we all have those moments in life to just leave us wondering what just happened before our eyes. Maybe a wheel rolls down the road by itself. Maybe some guy punches you in the face for no reason. Or maybe you get a good grade on a test you thought you sucked at. Or maybe your frickin' school bus explodes. So last year was my first year of high school. It sucked. It may as well not have happened because I don't remember anything. Except for one thing. So it was near the end of the year and I was used to going to and from school. And after school I would go home on the bus. It was about a 45 minute drive and I would usually play on my phone to pass the time. So I sat at the very front of the bus and you know how supposedly the cool kids sit at the back? Well that's all a lie because at my school the people that sat at the back, they were the people who shot you with BB guns and water pistols when you're trying to read or beat your high score on Flappy Bird. Yeah, I was basically the coolest one there. So I was sitting at the front playing a Spider-Man game, I think, when I smell something. Burning rubber. Now this takes me back to a memory when I went to the speedway and we watched drifting cars, but we bought hot chips. But every time a car went past, it would fling dirt and clay. I'm sorry, I can't take this. Take two. Action. But when the cars went past, they would fling dirt and clay up into the air. Into my chips. I never got to enjoy those chips. They could have been the best chips in the history of chips. But we'll never know. Because they're gone. And because I suck at history. But I remember the smell of burning rubber. I kind of like the smell. I don't know why. I just do. Now I have my earplugs in so I can't hear anything that's going down in the back until... Ah! The bus pulls over, the bus driver gets up and he's like, Get off the bus! Quickly! And I just look at him like... Why would we do that? Then I look down the back of the bus and there's smoke coming out the windows and flames everywhere and like Oh, that's why. As fast as a self-conscious naked zebra in public, I magically teleport out of there like ninjaing out all over the place. I'm basically a ninja. Nightcrawler, just pfft. Apparently everyone else is a ninja as well because they get out before me and I, and I leave my bag. But I don't really care because it's only school work. I mean, knowing me, probably didn't even do the homework anyway. So. But the driver went back in to get some stuff and he got my bag. No bag left behind! And I feel bad because the bus driver could have died just because I couldn't be stuffed to grab my bag because I was too fast with my ninja skills. So everyone slowly started making their way up some guy's long driveway. The bus driver called emergency services and all of a sudden he yelled, YOU KIDS GET BACK! And a few of the kids were like, "Oh, it's not like it's gonna explode, mate. It already has, mate. But no. This was just the beginning. So everyone started to move back and all of a sudden, Explosion number one. All the windows are shattering. Honestly, this was pretty cool and exciting, but we thought it had reached its worst and that it was just going to get better. No. Explosion number two. Smoke is now pouring out of the bus. And again, the bus driver yells, GET BACK! And we did. Explosion number three. The biggest one yet. The whole bus was engulfed in flame. I videoed the whole thing, and when I got home, I showed my parents, they put it on Facebook, and a radio station asked for the video. I said yes, of course. But they never really did find out what happened. 
Some say accident, some say sabotage. No one really knows, but what we do know is... I'm a freaking ninja!